What's going on guys, Borcha here from the Football Capital and I am back for another Premier League show. As you can see, it's only me today, I've given the boys the day off today, there's a big, big weekend of football, massive results, so this this is only going to be a little quick one, there is going to be a vlog out, yeah, a vlog um, from the Southampton Manchester United game, we were at Scruffy Murphy's with the lads, uh, the Manchester United Sydney Supporters Club. Great to get a win as well for Manchester United. So make sure you check out check out that vlog. It'll be out very very soon. But let's get into let's get into this one. Um, it'll only be a quick one. Only be a quick um, review on uh, pretty much the all the games for the week. But Manchester United backing up that wouldn't say backing up that performance, but backing up the the result that we've seen against Liverpool the week before. Uh, one nil to Southampton. Look, the opening, the opening few minutes, wouldn't say end to end, but we looked okay. We looked okay. A little bit shaky at times in terms of um, off the ball, some of the off the ball stuff, and the tempo was very slow at times from United. But in moments, in patches, it did pick up. It did pick up, especially in the second half when we did get that goal um, with with the low Sancho linking up there, and then that cross into Bruno Fernandez. And you know what? I think I think uh, some positives to take out of this game. Maybe not so much the performance, but Malasia, great great performance there at left back. Luke Shaw, it's going to be tough for him to see any game time anytime soon. Maybe in the cup in the cup games, obviously the Europa League draw. Um, it was a couple of days ago, so maybe a game against Sheriff for Luke Shaw there. But um, Martinez, that partnership, you know, it's looking good. Martinez and Varane, I mean, the the whole hype thing, everyone was giving it, giving to him. But look, he's he's been solid, solid in the fence, solid on the ball, which we haven't really seen when Maguire's been there. Our backline was was organized. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know. The last time it was that organised, our, our back line. Every time Southampton had the ball, our back line was solid, picking up, blocking the spaces. Our um, McTominay, Ericsson, Bruno, everyone's kind of dropping in and helping now and covering, or, or covering the, the, the gaps and, and then players as well. So a few positives, a few po- positives to take out of th- that game. And another one, seven, seven games away from home. Uh, in a row, United have lost. It was good to get uh, three points, especially against Southampton, who have been our bogey team. Been our bogey team the last couple of seasons. Two draws uh, last season. Um, I think we did a double the year before, but then again, the year bef- uh, the year after that was another two draws. So it's it's been it's been tough going out there to Southampton and getting the result. But look, to check out more of our, uh, like I said, some of our predictions and the reviews and it all. And a, a bit of a preview, um, a review, sorry, to, to for that for that game. Check out the vlog. Check out the vlog. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That hit that notification bell. When that video drops, um, you guys will be the first to be notified. But let's let's move on. Let's move on to the twelve o'clock games. And there were some there were some decent fixtures here. Some definitely some decent fixtures. Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Their bogey team. Every year we've seen Crystal Palace. I think last year, did they do that? I think they did the double of them last season. The year before, getting winners, getting draws, um, home and away to Manchester City. And it looked like the same thing was going to happen this time around. 2 0 up. 2 0 up. I think the, in, you know, early, early on in, in the half, you, we've seen a few deflections off the Bruyne, off uh, John Stones and in the back of the net. And then they've backed that up with a, with a header by Anderson. They left him free. 2 0. You know, two 0 Crystal Palace, but City do what they what they do best is come back from that two 0 down, and it all started by Bernardo Silva. Even that took a bit of a deflection as well, but I think that kind of kick started everything. Foden puts in a ball for Harlan, he gets a header onto it, and then Harlan from there gets his first Premier League hat trick. He's got what six goals in four games now. Four games in, he's already he already banged in a hat trick. Um, it, one of them, and maybe a miss kick by John Stones, uh, and he taps it in. You have to be there. You have to have the intelligence to be there at the end of the day. And then just to muscle off one or two players was it at the end to get that hat trick to put to put City four two up and get the results there. It's a massive result um, 
for, for Manchester City. You know, they still stay unbeaten now. I think 10 points, two behind Arsenal at, at the moment. But another team that needed to bounce back, the Scousers, Liverpool. Mate, they were surely going down. They were surely going down after last week's result. But look, I think they've sent, they're the ones that have sent uh, Bournemouth back to the championship. 9-0 demolition. Now, if there's a way to, to reply, <laughs> a way to bounce back, <laughs> What a scoreline, 9-0. And Mo Salah didn't even get on the score sheet. So for all them that had him as captain, not too happy with that, not too happy with that. But look, that just shows you, if Mo Salah doesn't turn up, I'm not saying he wasn't involved in any other, <laughs> any other patterns of play or anything, but him not getting on the scoreline and they still hit nine um, you saw goals from Fabinho. He got what two goals, four assists. Maybe one of them was questionable. Uh, Harvey Elliott, he he grabbed a, a screamer as well. So did Trent. There was a known goal there as well. Van Dyke, Van Dyke getting involved um, after last week. Last week, ball watching. This week, he's getting onto the ball. So Liverpool, um, that was a fantastic win. I think now they equal equal the record. You know, we all know who did it first, so don't get too excited. Because, yeah, hey, Celtic did the same thing to Dundee United, so let's not get giddy about that 9 new eh, Liverpool fans? But a massive, massive um, win for them. It'll be interesting to see now. Um, I think Darwin Nunes has got one more game suspended, I think it is, and then is he gonna, does he come back into the squad straight away if Liverpool start playing this type of football in the next come, uh, upcoming games as well? So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, another one, Chelsea. Chelsea, 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 the one chant football club. 10 men again. 10 men again. I don't know what's going on at, um, over there. They've been watching Tuchel on the sideline and everyone wants to get in the mix. Everyone wants to be, everyone's suspended, mate. Everyone's getting suspended. But Conor Gallagher gets a red card. Second yellow it was as well. And I mean, there was no, definitely no need to make that, that especially that second challenge where. He's going nowhere. The, the whole back line was there. I think you can see Kukurela losing his losing his mind before even the the card was shown for um for kind of Gallagher. But at the same time, they looked a little bit shaky, a little bit shaky. There was a bit of a VAR decision uh, with Leicester a foul on the keeper. To me, it was a little bit soft, but. You know how keepers are, they, they get protected in that, in that six-yard box. So that goal was chalked off. And then Raheem the Dream stepped up. Uh, Kukurela gives him that ball across. Might have taken a slight deflection just to loop it over the keeper there. But he, Sterling at home at Stanford Bridge gets his first goal for the club and then backs it up in the second half. Oh, was it, the se was it in the second half? Let me have a look. Oh, they were both in the second half. That's right. Early, early on. And then... Uh, another goal where he, hey, typical goal that he scored at Manchester City, you have to be in that back post. We saw Haaland do the same thing <laughs> for, for one of them. You have to be there in the back post. He got a tap in. Uh, Harvey Barnes did get a goal back at, at the end. But Chelsea, I mean, their, their back line, you know, Thiago Silva, Colossal in the back as well. Um, so Chelsea, get that win. Get that win just, just about get that victory. I mean, they if they if they want to continue on, I mean, they got to keep these players on their pitch. They got to keep these players on, uh, red card after red card, especially especially this kind of Gallagher one in like six minutes, six or five minutes, the space of the first yellow card and the second yellow card. Um, so right now, especially there's like what a couple of days left of the window, um, transfer window left. If they don't bring some players in, this these this suspension business, um, it's not going to help. It's not going to help Tuchel or. Or maybe they even their hopes for, for the top four. I know it's early, but you start dropping points early doors and you're going to be chasing from the get-go. But um, Chelsea get the victory there. Very, very important win. Some of the other games uh, of that day, you had Br uh, Brentford and Everton. Um, one or there. One or Everton went up with Anthony Gordon, who looks like, like we just talked about the transfers, he looks like he might be going on his way to Chelsea, possibly. Um, and... He, he grabbed the goal. He grabbed the goal in the first half. But then again, Everton, I think they're winless still. Brentford um, get, that, get that late goal at the end with five to go. They get that header on there. But, um, and it was poor defending as well. It was poor defending by Everton, something that Lampard needs to really look at. Uh, the Brighton, Brighton Munich getting the result again. They're, again they're, unbeaten. they're unbeaten as well. But how's Brentford? Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Brentford. Have they lost the game? don't think they have. Not sure if that. I'm not sure if they have. Let me see. 
Uh, they have, yeah, they've lost one. They've lost one. Definitely not to us. They've got <laughs> goal difference up on us. But um, where were we? Where were we? Let's have a look. Not fixtures. Go back. Who was I just talking about? Yeah. There was Everton. Everton. Brighton against Leeds. Leeds, after that 3-0 def- uh, win to, to Chelsea, surely they had to back it up at Graham Potter. So it's... What, third on the table at the moment? Once again, I think the same thing as last season. Had a really good start. All depends now how, how they end their campaign. You don't want to see them back at that fighting for relegation or, in, or, or thereabouts, the bottom half of that, of that table. But um, that Saturday wrapped up with Arsenal. Arsenal, you know, they didn't, it, they didn't make it easy for themselves in this one, in my opinion. Um, looked a little, little bit shaky. Uh, but then you've got to give credit to Fulham. They, the, Fulham pushed on all the way to the end, pretty much. You saw um, a mistake by Gabriel there in the back. Pounces on. Who else? Mitrovic grabbing that goal, making it 1-0. Um, and then a bit of luck. Odegaard gets that deflection on his shot. Um, possibly already would have been going in on the other direction. You never know. But if you don't take a chance, yeah, you're never going to you're never gonna score. So... And uh, he, get, he, he got the goal there. And then at the end, bit of a bit of pin boy inside the box. And hey, Gabriel, he made that mistake. But then he also made up for it. A hundred percent record for the Gooners. Hey, I said it. They'll win their first five games of the season. They got four. Uh, the receipts are there. But it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do this weekend. And then obviously back it up against Manchester United away. They will be interesting to see how that game would go. But Arsenal, are they the real deal, guys? Are they the real deal? We're like, when do we when do we stop thinking Arsenal of a, of a joke club? Because there's still a bit of banter. There's still a bit of banter. Some of the teams that they've played, you could say, you know, they got them at the right time. Some pro- just teams have just been promoted. Some teams like Crystal Palace who didn't really have a preseason. So it'll be interesting to see once they hit that October. I think it was an October period where. They got some of the bigger hitters, and I think that's when the Europa League kicks in as well. So it will be interesting to see how they go there. But at the moment, Arsenal looking the goods, looking the goods definitely. Uh, the next day, let's have a look. Villa versus West Ham United. Now this one was a must win for both teams, and I think for now they got the goal. And you know what? Massive win. Massive, massive win for West Ham United, who was sitting bottom of the league at the time. No wins, no goals. No goals as well, and Fornells gets that goal. It took a deflection over Martinez, but I think that puts a little bit of pressure off West Ham and um, off David Moyes as well. But the other dugout, the other dugout, Mr. Slippy G, Steven Gerrard, that record now of um, wins, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, bruv. For, for Steven Gerrard. Um, but interesting to see how they bounce back. They've got some difficult fixtures coming up. If they don't get some of the results there, is his neck on the line? Is Steven Gerrard, like KG said in the preview, the season preview, is he going to be the first manager to be sacked? We'll find out. But uh, we also have Wolves also struggling. So close from getting the, the victory here. They got the goal through Ruben Neves. It was a great finish. Ruben Neves, is he on his way out? Interesting, some rumours linking him again to Manchester United. Um, but at the moment, he's a, he's a Wolves player. He gets that goal. But Newcastle, right at the end, 90th minute, St. Maximum with that volley. Contender goal of the season at the moment, maybe. But Wolves, they're not doing themselves any good. I mean, poor clearance by one of their, one of their players. Lands straight to St. Maximum and he whips that one in now. They got some, I think they got some tricky fixtures coming up again, Wolves. They're without a win as well. So sitting in that relegation spot, the last game of the round, Tottenham and Nottingham Forest there. Nottingham obviously at home. Harry Kane scores, misses a penalty, saved by Dean Henderson, the, the loney from Manchester United. Maybe we could have uh, could have kept him on the books. But um and then again, Harry Kane at the end grabs his, grabs his second goal. And you can't leave. Like we said it last week, you can't leave Harry Kane free. Or, or, or even with that much space in the back there, um, you need to pick him up. And I think he's got now, what, 201 goals or something. So he's looking to break that record that Wayne Rooney, he's, he's, he's definitely going to pass him. Well, he's got 200, was it 201 goals for Tottenham? And then he's got 187 or something for uh, in the Premier League, so and Rooney's on two hundred six. So it looks like he will be beating that if he keeps up. If he keeps up this form, maybe not this season, but 
Yeah, if he get if he bags 20, 20, 30 this season, next season definitely it looks like he'll be breaking that one. But guys, let me know what you think about this week's games. There's again midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday games again on the weekend, and then uh, Monday morning here in Sydney time, Manchester United Arsenal. We'll be covering that one. Uh, we'll be doing a preview. Uh, if you, if not on this channel, definitely on the Aussie Gunas channel as well. We'll be previewing it there and maybe doing a review on both channels. So make sure you're subscribed to all all them channels. Hit like I said before, hit that notification bell. When that video drops from the pub, the Man United game, um, you'll be first to be notified. So guys, like always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.